Hey, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about something a little different than food. As important as food is and what we put into our body is super important, it's also important to know what it is we're putting on our body, specifically the products that we use. And I want to talk to you today about eliminating toxins in this way. Specifically, I want to talk to you about fragrances that are used in products. And when I say fragrances, I mean the smells that are used in your everyday products like shampoo, conditioner, hand soap, candles, uh, cleaning agents, your dishwashing liquid, your perfume. Fragrances are actually a hidden source of a big amount of toxins, and these toxins have detrimental health effects. In fact, if you start being mindful of the products that you buy with fragrance or perfume and decide to eliminate them, it's probably the number one thing that you could do to eliminate your toxic exposure. So the fragrance industry is actually not regulated at all, which means there's no safety testing. In fact, if you start being mindful of the products that you buy with fragrance or perfume and decide to eliminate them, it's probably the number one thing that you could do to eliminate your toxic exposure. So the fragrance industry is actually not regulated at all, which means there's no safety testing. Also, whenever manufacturers put on the label fragrance or perfume, this is actually just a blanket statement that they're allowed to put that can actually contain over 100 chemicals within the fragrance. So they aren't required to actually list what's in the fragrance. This is because the industry considers it a trade secret with what they put into fragrances. The reality is that they're incredibly toxic chemicals they're putting into these products. The chemical compounds found in fragrances have serious health complications. There have been numerous studies and a lot of research that shows that the compounds found in fragrances are allergens, asthma triggers, neurotoxins, endocrine and hormone disruptors, as well as carcinogens. The bottom line here is that fragrances are highly toxic. Another ingredient commonly found in fragrances is called phthalates. Phthalates are shown to cause reproductive and developmental problems, as well as birth defects, respiratory issues, and cancer. These are incredibly toxic to us and they cause major issues at our biological level. This may be surprising to you, but the point here is that you should be educated as a consumer on what you're using. If this interests you or the politics behind why this is allowed interests you, I highly recommend watching a documentary, which if you're watching this in real time, it is still on Netflix and it's called Stink. So for me, being on a journey of holistic living for the past three years or so, um, I see the overwhelming theme that we have so many options in the world today and bigger and better and tastes better and feels better and smells better. But the reality is if we just start to strip all of that away and go back to simplicity of the things to use that are beneficial and effective, um, we can really get rid of all that extra stuff. So for instance, in my bathroom, instead of using a bathroom cleaner, um, I use baking soda and white vinegar, and sometimes I put uh, some fresh squeezed lemon juice in there. It works very well, and I'm not being exposed to any toxicity. Uh, for my perfume, I use a perfume with essential oils, and I love the smell of it. I bought it at a health food store. I'm sure a lot of people are like, oh, that's probably really expensive, but actually it cost me $20 less than my brand name perfume. So essential oils are something that I wanted to talk about in the last half of this video today because when it comes to smell and health benefits, I believe essential oils are absolutely amazing and something that everyone should be exposed to. There's a lot you can learn about essential oils and if you're interested in them, I highly recommend going to the library or just ordering a book about essential oils and all the health benefits and how to use them properly because there is um, some things you have to understand about them. Essential oils are plant extracts that have been taken from the plant to retain the smell, flavor, or essence of this plant. There are a ton of essential oils out there, but there are some common ones I'm gonna go over today that I use a lot that can get you started with using essential oils. I wanna to talk to you about eucalyptus, lang lang, and lavender essential oil. 
So eucalyptus is a decongestant, which is great when you're feeling stopped up or if you have a cold, just inhaling it helps to relieve congestion. It's actually an ingredient used in a lot of conventional medicine already. So you might as well go straight to the source and use eucalyptus oil. It's antibacterial. Um, it helps reduce and eliminate toxins that are airborne and on hard surfaces. It helps to soothe tension and clear the mind. So I often use it um, when I'm feeling overwhelmed just to take a big inhale of it from the bottle to clear my mind. Ling Lang essential oil helps to improve mood and ease depression and anxiety. I often use it in the bathtub if I had a long or not positive day and I need to feel better. I use it if I have PMS or I feel like my hormones are really out of balance. It's also used as an aphrodisiac in Polynesian cultures, just so you know. Uh, lavender essential oil has massive health benefits. You can just look it up and read the endless amounts of benefits, um, but it helps promote wound healing. It helps with anxiety as well. It helps a lot with sleep. So if you have insomnia or restless sleep, a lot of people will put it on their feet with a carrier oil at night or put it on their pillow and it helps promote uh, good sleep and good rest. It is also antibacterial. It relieves pain and it helps with acne and eczema. The way I use essential oils are sometimes directly on the skin, but my favorite way to use them is in a diffuser, which I want to show you today. Um, I think diffusers are so cool uh, because if we're getting rid of a lot of the smells in our life and these toxic fragrances, we still want to be able to smell uh, amazing things. Um, human beings are connected to smell in the same way they are with taste. Actually, the senses go together in that way that they help us think of memories and pleasant things or negative things. Um, and we, we thrive off of smell. We need good smell. Plus, you get so many health benefits out of essential oils. So a diffuser is a really, really cool thing to incorporate into your life and into your environment to give you the smell and the health benefits that you need. I want to show you my diffuser. This is it. Uh, so my first diffuser I bought from TJ Maxx for 20 bucks. Um, you can get them relatively cheap. You can order them online. This one is actually really, really nice. It's called Zen Sense, and I actually won it, which is really, really cool. Um, so I just pop this off, and they're all very similar in this way. And you should always use filtered water. So I fill it up. And then I have my Lang Lang essential oil here, which I love. And I put about four drops. Um, you could do, depending on how strong the oil is, how much you like the smell, etc. It's anywhere from like four to six drops. Pop this back on. And turn it on. And it has a light. <laughs> and it starts diffusing, as you can see, into the air and it smells amazing puts me in a good mood and it helps to purify the air so i keep this going a lot in my home um, and again you can use all the different kinds of oils um, for different things which is awesome so like i said if i'm sick tea tree oil or eucalyptus in the air if i'm down i use something like lang lang if i'm getting ready to go to sleep and i'm not feeling tired i can put lavender in here so i highly recommend looking into a diffuser they're really really cool and essential oils are really cool and beneficial i don't want you to feel overwhelmed learning this information about fragrances and toxins and like okay i have to throw everything out and start over um, it can be a little overwhelming to feel that way um, when you find out something that you're using is probably bad for you um, but i recommend just starting with a couple simple things so start with your shampoo start with your hand soap actually i brought this one to show you um, so this is hand soap it's called everyone for everybody hand soap i get it from walmart it's like three bucks um, and it's made with plant extracts and essential oils so things like that you can do um, whenever you run out of something in your house when you go to buy a new cleaning agent or you know a new dish soap something like that just look for a less harmful alternative something made with plant-based ingredients and no fragrances or perfumes unless it's an essential oil so don't feel overwhelmed and like you have to throw everything out, but just start with your body care products and slowly build on top of that. I hope you learned something today and please share this video with other people who need to know this information about eliminating toxins in their life.